dear students in this session we will discuss the concept of elasticity of substitution as it is clear from our previous classes fm generally compensates for the decrease in one input by an increase in the other if l increases k decreases and vice versa or k will be substituted for l and vice versa the principle of substitutability that is substitution between capital and labor is not an economic law it is not an economic law because there are production functions which exhibits no substitutability between capital and labor but for those production functions where substitution is possible the degree of substitutability is an important technical question especially for the producers there is fixed proportional production function where substitutability is not possible but if substitution is possible it is important for the producers so production functions are classified in terms of elasticity of substitution denoted by sigma elasticity of substitution and it measures how easy it is for uh, substituting one input for another how easy it is to substitute capital for labor or labor for capital and this is a question of the shape of a single isoquant rather than the isoquant map stated differently the curvature of the isoquant is determined by sigma the curvature of the isoquant is determined by sigma now to explain this consider a an isoquant define two points a and b point a point b points a and b and mrts at a mrts at b and this is k by l at a this is k by l at b labor is here capital is here and as you can see as you move from a to b k by l decreases there is substitution between capital and labor and the profit maximizing firm will determine how is how easy it is to substitute capital for labor and as we know along an isoquant mrts decreases as k by l increases or as a k by l decreases along an isoquant as you move from left to right mrts decreases k by l also decreases now we consider three changes one if mrts if mrts will not change at all for changes in k by l if mrts will not change at all for changes in k by l substitution is easy as the ratio mrts is mbl by mbk will not change much so as marginal productivities will not change much as k by l changes substitution is easy the second case is if mrts 
change rapidly for a small change in kbl substitution is difficult as mbs change considerably for small changes in the capital labor ratio so in that case substitution is difficult and the third if change in mrts is infinite for small changes in k by l that is if mrts changes infinite for small changes in k by l there is no substitution that is the case of fixed proportions production function so if mrts not change much for k by l change then substitution is easy much change difficult infinite change no substitution at all in the first case isocond is more or less a straight line in this case isocond is right angled here the curvature is very high these are points which are familiar to you from your uh, basic microeconomic courses and a scale free measure of the elasticity of substitution is is given as sigma is equal to percentage change in k by l divided by percentage change in mrt percentage change in k by l divided by percentage change in mrt is equal to d k by l by k by l divided by d mrt s by mrt s is also equal to d ln k by l divided by t ln mrt s d ln mrt s since k by l and mrt s move in the same direction along an isocond sigma is always a positive number as you move from a to b both mrt s and also k by l changes and uh, as they move in the same direction sigma is always a positive number if sigma is very high mrt s not change much relative to k by l so if uh, if sigma is high that means mrt s will not change much as k by l changes so isocond is less curved if sigma is low mrt s change considerably for change in k by l so that uh, isocond is highly curved and as you can see generally elasticity of substitution change as you move from one point to another point along an isocond but for convenience we assume that in a particular production function sigma is constant now there is there are a few more points depending on the value of sigma we divide the production function we consider production function as fixed proportions linear cobb douglas series these two are empirical production functions and uh, in the case of fixed proportion sigma zero linear sigma is infinity cobb douglas it is one cs it is constant these are uh, concepts which uh, we have discussed in detail in other videos also uh, also the if a production function exhibits constant returns to scale it is linearly homogeneous and properties of linearly homogeneous production functions are also 
given in a separate video.